Hello viewers, this is your tutorial on how to create Quora campaigns using the Socio Publisher feature of Socinator. After opening the Socinator app, make sure Social is selected near the upper right corner of the app. Next, let's click Socio Publisher to bring us to the publisher page over here. Then, click Create Campaign. This will bring us to the Create Campaign page. Here, we can name our campaign or just go with the campaign ID number. Under Post Manager, we have the option to create post. If you want to create a single post, select this option. Under Post Description, let's type something, let's say Happy. To upload pictures or videos, click the Media button. Select the right file, let's say this one. Click Open, and it's successfully uploaded. Next, let's click the Settings button. This will open the Post Settings dialog box. Under General Settings, you can click this one to select the expired date of your post. So select the date by clicking the calendar. Then you can specify the number of times when it comes to re-adding post to post list. When you're done, click the Save button. So you can enter the post title here and the source URL. So those are the options for creating a single post. You may also create multiple posts by clicking this. So if the multiple post button is clicked, Socinator will perform action of displaying a modal window on screen to set multiple posts. So click create post, write what's on your mind, let's say happy again, import media if you want, let's upload the same picture, click open, and settings, it's up to you. Click save when you're done. Specify the post title as well as the source URL. And click enable Facebook cell post if you want. You may also import from CSV by clicking this button. Select the right file and click open. You may also delete everything by clicking the delete all button over here and it's gone. So that's the multiple post button. We also have another import from CSV button here. So if you want to import from CSV, click that button, select the right file, and click open. Finally, you have a create a multiple image post. If this option is selected, Socinator will perform action of enabling access to create multiple image posts with web search URLs. So you can use file name as post description, or you may upload your own post description. Click that button and select the right file, then click open. Check this box. If you want Socinator to perform action of adding only unique posts, you may also upload from URL, so using this option, Socinator will perform action of loading images from web URLs. So we need a specific URL, let's say this one, copy the URL, paste it, and then click the magnifying glass button over here, or the search button, and it will automatically load images from the URL that we have posted. So this is the first image, click the next one, and it will load the second image. So you may save to draft post list or save to pending post list. And that's it for create post. Let's go to scrape post. We have three options here from three different social networks. The next tab is share post. Here we can share posts from custom posts list if we check this box. Type the custom post list here. Next we have RSS feed. So in this section, Socinator will allow to create posts with RSS feed and post the same to assigned destinations. So feed URL details will allow to enter the feed URLs for extracting the feed details and post the same to the assigned destinations. Post description will allow to automatically generate the feed descriptions from the given feed URL. So we have feed title, feed description, feed URL, feed publish date. Under media, click the button to select an image or a video and click open and it will be uploaded. Click the settings button to configure individual post settings according to different networks. Then you may type your post title and source URL here and check this box if you want to enable Facebook cell post. So let's just enter an example URL. Let's say this is the URL. When you're done, click the save feed URL button and Socinator will save all existing posts to feed URL details over here. So you may edit the feed URL details by clicking this button. 
You may also delete the feed URL details by clicking this button and it's gone. The monitor folder will allow you to specify the folder path. Click the folder button over here and let's select desktop for example as our folder path and it will be automatically added here. You may also clear using the clear all button and it's gone. So let's create the same folder path again. So post description similar to RSS feed. So you may enter the file name, the file type, the file author, file title, file subject, file creation date, file comments, file tags. Under media, you have the option to configure individual post settings from different networks. Click save when you're done. Here you can write the post title. Let's say happy. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button and select the right file and click open. So let's say happy again. So you may randomly pick title from the list or remove title once used. Enter the source URL and click this box if you want to enable Facebook cell post. When you're done, click save folder path and it will be saved in the folder path details over here. Click this button if you want to edit the folder path details. Click this button if you want to delete the folder path details and it's gone. Next, let's click post configuration. So in this section, you will need to set up how and when the tool is going to execute the socio publisher actions. So the first configuration is job configuration. So under settings, you can specify the number of posts per day as well as the start time and end time. So each post will be published to all selected destinations including groups, pages, or walls. So you can specify the delay between posts, so let's say 5 to 30 minutes. You may also configure posting interval for each timer. Or you may also use random publishing time every day. Click this box if you want Socinator to publish all the selected destinations. You can add delay between publishing multiple posts. So between two numbers in terms of minutes, you may also specify the minimum and maximum number of posts. Click this box if you want to specify the start date of the campaign. So select the start date by clicking the calendar. Let's say February 5, for example. And there's the time as well. You may also specify the end date. So let's say 7. So here you can specify the delay between each destination post, let's say 10 to 30 seconds. You may also select the days of the week to publish. So if you want to publish every day, then check all of them. Or if you don't want to publish on Tuesday, then uncheck Tuesday. If this option is checked, Socinator will publish the post from the first selected day. Next, we have other configurations. So under the settings, you can enable signature to add a custom text at the end of your posts. For Reddit users, you may check for the approval of your posts. You may also shorten all the URLs from the post. You can also allow publishing of text posts with links for Pinterest users. And for Instagram users, you can post as part of your story only instead of on the wall. Let's click Advanced Settings. This will open the Campaign Advanced Settings dialog box. So under the General tab, we can see the different advanced settings applicable on all networks. Let's start with the first one. If this filter is set, Socinator will trigger a notification depending on the number of posts in the posts list. So let's say 1. If you don't want notifications, set it to 0. Next. You can specify a maximum number of minutes for a post to finish on all destinations. Set 0 for no limits. Next, you can set a maximum number of posts to keep in the campaign history. So let's say 300 posts. Next, you can set the number of minutes on how you want Socinator to search and check RSS feeds for a new post. So let's say every 30 minutes. Next, you can specify the number of minutes on how you want Socinator to check monitor folders for new images or video. So let's say every 30 minutes as well. Check this box if you want Socinator 
to retry posting posts which were not posted due to some errors. Next, if you select this filter, Socinator will select one random image from a post containing multiple images. If you select this one, then Socinator will only choose the first image for posts with multiple images. But you also have the option where Socinator will select random images with a specific range of numbers, so let's say 1 and 3, for posts with multiple images. Next, check this box if you want Socinator to send one post from each destination. Next, check this box if you want Socinator to post random posts from the post list excluding the top one. Next, Check this if you don't want Socinator to post from multiple accounts simultaneously together, so there will be a delay between each account posting time. Next, check this box if you want to remove the link from the post after Facebook or Google Plus or LinkedIn or Pinterest displays the preview. So this is for Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, and Pinterest users. So if you post something with links and you want to remove the link from the post after the preview is displayed, then check this box. Next, check this if you want to wait to start a new post, depending on how many are active in your history. So let's say one. Next, check this box to unselect the destination after a successful post. So this means the campaign will post only once per destination. Next, check this if you want to keep the post's initial creation date when re-adding posts from history to post list. Finally, check this box if you don't want Socinator to randomize the destination's order for posts. When you're satisfied with the configurations, click the Save button. Now we can select destinations by clicking this button. Select from the destinations we have created, let's say the third one, then close it. Next, let's click Select Accounts. Then let's select our Quora account by checking this box. For Quora, we can check under Walls or Profiles. Then click Save. After saving, click the Save button over here. Our Quora campaign was successfully created and saved. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.